The story of the development and the discovery of steminins started nearly two decades ago when I started to investigate an aquatic botanical called Aphanizominon flos aqua, uh, in short AFA. AFA is a blue-green algae that grows naturally in Klamath Lake in southern Oregon. So my starting point was to, to do a survey, to do an overview of, of all the benefits reported by people consuming AFA. And it became clear very rapidly that, that people consuming AFA reported benefits touching overall inflammation, touching the immune system, and also uh, many of the consumers of AFA were reporting uh, an increase in mental clarity, uh, mental energy, an ability to concentrate, uh, an overall feeling of well-being. So we started the investigation and rapidly discovered that AFA is a source of phycocyanin, which is the blue pigment in all blue-green algae. Now phycocyanin was already known at the time to be uh, probably one of the most potent molecules, anti-inflammatory molecules, coming from the plant world. So it explained really a lot of the, of the benefits that people had uh, touching inflammation. Now we identified in AFA a polysaccharide that supports various aspects aspects of the immune system. And we identified in AFA a molecule called phenylethylamine, in short PEA. PEA is a molecule that the brain makes naturally whenever someone feels happy, content, satisfied. Uh, it is known in chemistry as the molecule of love or the molecule of joy. A deficiency in PEA has been associated with uh, low mood, uh, a, a reduced ability to concentrate, uh, attention deficit, and it could go down even to depression. And oral PEA can really reverse these kinds of, of conditions. So discovering that AFA contains PEA really explains and all the benefits that people had experienced over the years in terms of, uh, of this feeling of well-being or, or mental clarity. But as we were doing all this work, a lot of people reported other benefits that we could not explain on the basis of these three compounds. And from a scientific standpoint, what was challenging was not only the extent of these benefits, but the wide variety of these benefits. People were reporting benefits on the skin, on the liver, on pancreatic function, on the lung, on the heart, joint, on the nervous system, on the retina. So the question was, what is it that this product is doing that touches so many different aspects of human health? So over the years, we had many hypotheses that we tested in the lab. We got good data, but nothing really that, that really gave us that, you know, that aha, that discovery to tell us really that's what the product is doing. Until one day, when a colleague of mine sent me an article, and the title of the article was Turning Blood into Brain. It was a, a study in which uh, scientists had observed that stem cells in circulation in the bloodstream had the ability to migrate in the brain and, becoming, and to become brain cells. Around the same time, other studies have been published showing that stem cells had the ability to also migrate in the heart and in the liver and to become heart cells and liver cells. So what we started to think, Dr. Jensen and I, was that if stem cells can become brain cells, heart cells, and liver cells, why not pancreatic cells, skin cells, joint cells, lung cells? Why not all the other types of, of cells of the body? So on the basis of data existing in the scientific, liter scientific literature, we proposed in a journal called Medical Hypotheses that indeed stem cells constitute the natural repair system of the body. But what we had in mind when we made that proposal is that if that turns out to be true, and it did turn out to be true, that's what stem cells are doing in the body. But if that is true, that means that a product that would support the natural role of stem cells should lead uh, to various benefits in various people. And that's what we had with AFA. So with this thought, we went to the lab and we tested AFA uh, with regard to its ability to trigger stem cell release from the bone marrow. And we discovered that indeed AFA contains a specific molecule that blocks an adhesion molecule on the surface of stem cells called L-selectin, and that triggers the release of stem cells from the bone marrow. So AFA contains an L-selectin blocker. So we developed a concentrate of, of AFA that we called steminins, and the consumption of two capsules of steminins leads to a, triggers the release of stem cells from the bone marrow and leads to a significant increase in the number of circulating stem cells, and all these stem cells can then participate to the natural process of tissue repair. 
Now, after developing the assay to quantify stem cells and discovering uh, the natural role of stem cells in the body, it was obvious to, to Dr. Jensen and I that uh, given that this is a natural part of human physiology, it cannot be that there's only one plant having an effect on stem cells. There has to be other plants. So we then asked the question, what other plant has been known throughout history to be associated to many different kinds of health benefits? So the idea is to go and test these plants in the lab with the hypothesis that maybe their mechanism of action is that they also trigger the release of stem cells from the bone marrow. So we tested many plants and we discovered one that also triggers stem cells, uh, release of stem cells from the bone marrow. It is a brown seaweed called Ondaria pinatifida also known in Japanese cuisine as wakami. So Ondaria contains a polysaccharide called ficoidan. Now the consumption of ficoidan from Ondaria pinatifida increases the number of stem cells, the baseline number of stem cells over time as we consume the product every day. Now, when we discovered the effect of uh, of AFA on stem cells and developed stem enhance and all the AFA uh, produced by cerule started to be used to produce stem enhance uh, then cerule started to take a different direction with the development of a phycocyanin concentrate. They started to concentrate phycocyanin not from AFA but from spirulina and it became another product called Cyactive that we will talk about later. Uh, but as they developed Cyactive concentrated phycocyanin, they discovered that spirulina contains another compound. It is a yellow compound. This compound has not yet been identified, but when we feed this compound to people, it increases the concentration of GCSF in the blood. This is a compound very well known to trigger stem cell release from the bone marrow. So Steminens Ultra is the blend of these three products. Steminens, the Ficoidan from Onderia pinatifida, and mesenchyme, this yellow compound isolated from spirulina. So since these three products trigger the release of stem cells from the bone marrow using different mechanism of action, it means that blending them gives a really unique and strong synergy. So the consumption of two capsules of Steminens Ultra triggers a very, very significant release of stem cells from the bone marrow, increasing the number of stem cells in circulation by anywhere between 4 to 10 million new stem cells. And all these stem cells are av available to participate to the process of tissue repair. So Steminens Ultra is a unique product, probably one of the best product out there to support the natural process of tissue repair and tissue renewal in the body.